Born on June 4, 1987, in Istanbul, Turkey, Kerem Bursin hails from a family with a remarkably diverse professional and cultural background. His father, Ibrahim Pamir, serves as the CEO of a major international corporation and stands as a paradigm of a successful entrepreneur who skillfully navigates global business operations. His mother, Chigdim Pamir, chose to dedicate her life to homemaking and raising the family. At the time of Karim's birth, the family already had one child, a daughter named Melis. As of now, Melis has found her calling in the art world, working as a professional photographer and crafting stunning visual narratives through her camera lens. Interestingly, the family now resides in the United States, specifically in the state of Texas. In interviews where he reminisces about his upbringing, Karim describes his childhood as a period filled with adventures, inspiration, and joyful moments. The early years of his life were particularly eventful. Before he even turned one year old, the family relocated to Scotland due to his father's job commitments. Yet, the family's adventures didn't end there, their next stop was Indonesia, where they lived until Karim reached the age of five. This phase of his life was merely the beginning of a lengthy journey that included temporary stints in the United Arab Emirates and Malaysia before the family finally returned to their native Turkey. Karim asserts that these relocations and shifts in residence not only didn't hinder his upbringing and development but played a crucial role in shaping his worldview. From an early age, he developed a profound respect for diverse cultures and an interest in learning about the unique characteristics of various nations. These experiences undoubtedly laid the groundwork for his further personal growth. When he was 10 years old, the Pamir family eventually moved to the United States, settling in Texas. From this point on, Karim began to seriously contemplate a career in the arts, exploring the realms of acting. Along with his school friends, he even founded his own rock band, following his artistic aspirations. After completing high school, Karim enrolled at Emerson College in Boston, specializing in acting. This choice would not come without its share of familial conflicts. Ibrahim Pamir, Karim's father, is a materialist by nature and insists that his son choose a more grounded profession, such as in economics or marketing. To avoid disappointing his father, Karim even enrolls in a university in Los Angeles. However, he struggles with his studies and increasingly realizes that his true passion lies in the arts, not business. At this critical juncture in his life, his mother, Chigdom, becomes his main pillar of support, encouraging him to pursue his true calling. From that point on, Karim enters a new phase filled with untapped opportunities and creative challenges, which he is ready to meet with all his experience, knowledge, and, of course, passion for the arts. Karim has always been drawn to the magic of the big screen and the art of acting. He particularly admired the work of Jean-Claude Van Damme, who so seamlessly blended physical training with acting charisma. Karim envisioned himself as a movie star, appearing in epic and mysterious films similar to the Batman saga. This distant and dreamy outlook on the film industry stayed with him even after he moved to Los Angeles to study. There, his potential was noticed by cult director Roger Corman, who offered the young and ambitious actor a small but significant role in the film Thursday. This experience was just the beginning. Several more roles followed in film projects of varying scale and caliber, such as The Architect, Killian, The Phantom of the Imperial Palace, and the eccentric film Sharktopus. However, these films did not bring him widespread recognition, and Karim found himself taking odd jobs in various service sectors to make ends meet. Rather than sinking into despair, he viewed these challenges as temporary setbacks on the path to greater achievements. Karim deeply believed that success doesn't just happen, it must be earned through hard work and self-improvement. He persisted, continuing to search for his path in the world of cinema. A tragedy in 2011, when a close friend passed away in an accident, became a pivotal moment in Karim's life. This life-altering event prompted him to reassess his priorities and led to the decision to return to his homeland, Turkey. While his parents remained in Texas, he felt an urgent need to be closer to his roots. In Turkey, his life took an unexpected turn. At a relative's wedding, he met Gay Sokman, an influential agent in the entertainment industry, who arranged for him to meet with one of the leading talent agencies in the country. From that point on, his film career started to skyrocket, 
but this time on his native soil. His first significant project was the 2013 TV series Waiting for the Sun, which became a huge hit not only in Turkey but also internationally. This was followed by years of intense work, filming for movies and television, participating in advertising campaigns, collaborating with famous fashion and tea brands, and traveling around the US and other countries. Every new step in his career was made possible through hard work, resilience, and an unwavering pursuit of his ultimate dream. Starting from 2014, the actor's career gained momentum at an astonishing pace. That year, he captivated audiences with his role in Chagon Ermac's film Whisper, If I Forget. The movie received numerous positive reviews and showcased him as an actor capable of deeply immersing himself in his roles. The same year, he was offered one of the key roles in the popular Turkish TV series Matter of Respect, where his character, Yejit Kilik, stirred strong emotions among viewers. After the movie's successful run, a music video for the soundtrack was even released. In 2017, Karim returned to his acting craft, starring in the series Perfect Team, in which he played a boxer. His next project was a movie titled Confeta, made in collaboration with Barack Ozavit and dedicated to military themes. Burson continued to experiment with roles, and soon took part in another extraordinary project related to vampires, called Immortals, where he portrayed a 500-year-old vampire named Dimitri. In 2018, Karim became the leading star in a youth movie about esports called Good Game, produced by his own company, Braveborn. The movie was honored with nine international awards, further solidifying his status as an outstanding actor. Midway through 2020, Burson appeared in the comedy web series Same Thing, showcasing his skills as an excellent comedic actor. At the beginning of 2020, he participated in an independent film project for the Bosphorus Festival titled Eflatin, where he played the role of Oflaz. In the summer of 2020, audiences saw him as Serkin, the head of a commercial firm, in the romantic melodrama Love is in the Air. The chemistry between his character and that of Handa Ursel was one of the key factors contributing to the project's success. Now, in 2023, Burson is once again intriguing viewers by participating in a fresh and ambitious project called What If You Love Too Much. In this project, he showcases his versatility once again, partnering with Hafsner Sankhtutin, known for hit series like Love Makes You Cry and Between the World and Me. As can be seen, Karim Burson's career serves as an example of constant growth and diversity, affirming his unique talent and undeniable charisma. The interest in Karim Burson's personal life is immense, and it's not surprising, considering his irresistible appearance and magnetism. Thanks to his charm and charisma, Karim has earned the status of a sex symbol in his home country. Despite the constant attention focused on him, the actor remains quite reserved and private about his romantic relationships. His relationship with actress Yagmer Tanrisevsin sparked a media frenzy. The couple was often caught in the lens of cameras and looked genuinely happy in public. However, their relationship did not last long, about six months. The reasons for their breakup remain speculative, although some sources close to the actor hinted that Yagmer had a complex character, capricious and haughty. Since 2016, Karim had been in a relationship with Serene Sarakaya, whom he met during the filming of a commercial. In an interview with Grazia magazine, the actor shared that it was his most long-term and possibly happiest relationship. Interestingly, Karim admitted that he finds it hard to fall in love and treats women with great respect. Media attention was drawn by the news that Burson allegedly proposed to Serene, but due to disagreements about a prenuptial agreement, the relationship came to a standstill. Shortly after breaking up with Serene, during his trip to Hollywood, he was seen in the company of young and talented performer Melissa Senelson. In early 2020, rumors emerged about a possible affair with Demet Uzdemir. All these numerous rumors and speculations about Karim's personal life clearly do not please him. He has repeatedly asked journalists not to spread false information, emphasizing the importance of personal life and the need to respect the privacy of celebrities. In April 2021, immediately after the completion of the first season of the popular Turkish TV series Love is in the Air, stars Karim Burson and Handa Ersel took a small break, 
heading for a well-deserved vacation in the exotic Maldives. This vacation was special. The actors, who had been very reserved about their personal status throughout the year, finally officially acknowledged the existence of a romantic relationship. Karam posted a photo from the Maldives with the mysterious caption getting lost, creating an atmosphere of intrigue and romance. Karam, who is usually not inclined to open displays of personal life on social media, seemed transformed this time. Friends and close associates of the actor have noticed that Karam is happier than ever and pays a lot of attention to Handa, about whom he has spoken reverently in numerous interviews. This level of openness and sincerity was a new side to the actor. He not only posted photos with Handa but also left warm comments on her posts. Handa, in turn, exhibited restraint and caution, especially at public events. At one such event, their first public disagreement occurred. Karam, wanting to show signs of affection, tried to take Handa's hand, but she declined his gesture. Ursul, who has often been linked to various affairs, did not want rumors about her personal life to overshadow her acting career. As a result, by January 2022, the relationship of this star-studded couple had come to an end. The reasons were not officially stated, but Handa removed all photos with Karam from her social media, unfollowed him, and also deleted his comments. According to unnamed sources, Handa decided to focus on her professional life, while Karam, known for his desire for stable and long-term relationships, was looking to start a family. Currently, Karam Burson is actively involved in various projects, not only in Turkey but also internationally. He is now single and fully focused on his career. Despite having numerous on-screen and real-life partners, Karam has not been involved in superficial relationships, his goal is to have a serious relationship with the prospect of starting a family. Following this line of thought, we can only wish him the best in finding his soulmate and starting a family soon.